Hello everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate a scenario where we can export the SOLIDWORKS motion load to FEA. My name is Divya Solanki and I am an application engineer at Engineering Technic. We are authorized reseller of the SOLIDWORKS and 3D experience based in Gujarat, India. Having the offices at Vadodara, Ahmedabad and Surat, we are having a team of certified experts and professionals who can provide the enhanced customer experience. So, let's jump into today's topic. For the demonstration purpose, I am going to use the drive shaft assembly. We are transferring the power between two non-parallel shafts through the universal coupling and the general cross. As you can see on the screen, this is the driving shaft and it is transferring load to the driven shaft. Driven shaft is preloaded. We will apply the resisting torque for the replication of the preload. We want to check the load effect in the general cross due to the motion transfer. First, we will start the motion edit and we will turn it on from the editing command manager. Okay. Now, we will jump into the motion analysis tab. There is three tabs available, animation, basic motion and motion analysis. Motion analysis is only available in SOLIDWORKS Premium. First, we will apply the rotary motor with the 2800 RPM to the driving shaft as you can see on the screen. Okay. Then, to replicate the preload on the driven shaft, we will apply the torque to the shaft. As you can see on the screen, the force is action only and you can also check out the value of the torque. Now, we will calculate this study to simulate the result. Okay. Study is completely fine as you can see on the screen. Okay. Now, we will focus on the general cross. First, we will isolate this component to look better. As the four face of the cross is engaged to the coupler, we will study the effect of load on it. Okay. Quick check uh, to my motion properties, my frames per second is 1000 and remaining settings are default. Okay. There are two ways to do it. Uh, first import the motion load from the motion to FE. Okay. So, we will click on it and then we will select the motion study, desired motion study. Select the component on which you need to analyze the load in our case, in our case general cross one. You can import the single frame study or you can also import the multi frame study. In the multi frame study, you have to define the frame range. Okay. As you can see starting frame, ending frame. Okay. And also the step between the ranges. Okay. Uh, your number of iterations depend upon the frames range and its steps. I am defining it accordingly, my convenience. All right. Now, the step is uh, I am defining 2 and just hit OK. Now, open that part from the feature manager design tree. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, there are two studies already created. One is simulation and other is a design study. Name of the study includes frame range and steps. Now, in simulation study, only the loads are imported. Okay. As you can see on the screen, only loads are imported, but there are no fixtures, material and mass applied. So, we have to apply and define it as per our requirement. For the demonstration purpose, I am going to apply the mesh only. Okay. Settings will be default. Then we will run this study. After saying okay, we will run this study and we will analyze the result. So, you can check the one misses trace and also the displacement plots of the part. Just click on the displacement and just say so. Okay. Then we will switch to the design study. First of all, see the name as I said. Okay. Then we will scroll to the right where we have 21 different scenarios which we can run the optimization study. Okay. We have different loading conditions as a variable and we have predefined result plots as a constraints as you can see. Okay. We can even set the goals and optimize the study accordingly. Okay. So, 
now we'll jump to the second method second method gives us the real time preview on the motion tab okay. we'll click on the simulation setup then we will select the desired component from the list okay then we'll define the time range starting time and ending time now click on the add time range to add the time range okay. now in the advanced tab you can check the mesh setting okay i am setting the mesh density factor to 0.95 according to my convenience and click okay all right after clicking on run the study we'll click on the run the study and it will create the new motion study then it will start the resolve all the iteration that we have defined in the time range it will take time and it's depend upon the total number of iterations okay we'll jump into the result quickly now as you can see into the motion study tree there is a new feature added called a simulation setup the key is set on the time range we defined for the simulation run scroll down to the right and left we'll zoom in for the better focus and we'll scroll from the starting frame of the our time range to the ending frame you can see the real time preview between applied time range that's it from my side i hope you understand both method okay thank you so much for watching the video